Distinguished global citizens, despite our negligible contributions to climate change, it is small island states like Antigua and Barbuda that are experiencing its worst effects. As chair of the Alliance of Small Island States, I'm asking global citizens to call on world leaders to commit to creating an official loss and damage response fund at COP27 as a form of climate justice in which the polluter pays. The polluter must pay. Our requirements do not stop there. High and middle income small island states should not be excluded from much needed development assistance, especially during a time of climate crisis. That is why I am calling on the United Nations to adopt a new system that would look beyond merely income and to adopt a multi-dimensional vulnerability index that takes into consideration the vulnerability and resilience of small island states. Join me in this call for a fair and just response to climate change. Much love and blessings. I thank you. Hello, global citizens. I am pleased that Vanuatu, alongside a coalition of countries, is uh, spearheading an international um, campaign to take the issue of climate change to the International Court of Justice. Also important, Vanuatu is supporting countries and their call to face down on uh, to face down coal, um, oil, and gas, the three most important drivers of the uh, climate crisis we are now faced with. So, global citizen, Vanuatu hears your voice. We will leave no stone unturned in our unwavering fight for climate justice. Thank you, Thomas. Merci beaucoup. I thank you all and have a good night, everybody.